question number four given the code fragment so we have this code where we have a class and then class l extends exception and then class m extends l so which means also means in turn it will extend exception so this is one exception second exception and then n is extending runtime exception now we have a public void p so p is a method which throws l and from within that method we are just throwing new m so this is a valid statement because in the declaration we have the more generic class and within the method we are throwing a more specific class so similarly the next method is uh, q in here we have it it is throwing n and it is again within the method is throwing n so it's pretty straightforward so the code would come here and then uh, test t is equal to new test so we are creating the instance of this class and then t dot p so we are calling the p method which throws l and t dot q which throws n so we have a line one here like a placeholder and then system we are printing out exception caught what should be replaced that placeholder for the code to compile so in this case even i am not sure what the answer will be so also i'll show you what you should ideally do when you do any of the practice questions let's say if you do not know the concept quickly jump on the intellij write a quick program and then see how it behaves so in this case i'm going to write a quick test class and i am going to put the first option so in here as you see this m is showing a red line so just hover over it it says types in multi catch must be disjoint so test.m is a subclass of l so that means we can't use m because we have already used l so let us remove this and compile so this compiles just fine and if we go back to the question so as per this it seems 5 is a correct answer now what you need to also figure figure out is why others are not the answer now let's go with the second option so let's put m and l again the reason is same so that means we can eliminate this we can eliminate this we can also eliminate this one let's actually see this particular one now so it's just catching the l and run it so it's compiling fine and printing fine so that means that there are two options correct here so option with just l or we can also catch n as well now the correct one of this is with the more specific one so n is a runtime exception and when it's a runtime exception you usually do not need to catch it so the correct answer is number three